I've got a brand new drum plug-in for you. It's completely free and it sounds like this. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. BFD Player is a free drum plugin which comes with an amazing five gigabytes of samples. We're gonna be running through all of its features in this video. But before we do, I'd like to thank our sponsor, DistroKid. If you follow the link in the description down below, you'll get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Now let's dive into this free plugin. So starting off on the main screen, we get this 3D representation of our drum kit. And if we click on any of the drums, we get to hear them and also some options appear for that drum at the bottom of the screen. Clicking on browse here, we can see more options and we can in theory swap each drum out for another drum. But with this free version, we do only get this one library. You can see its name over here on the left, the core library. So there's not a lot of choices of drums, maybe with the symbols, for example, if you click on those you do get to swap some of them out. So I think that's fair enough with a free plugin. And of course, what they want you to do is love this plugin and perhaps buy some of the other libraries, which are normally around about sort of 50 or $55. But don't get me wrong, you can actually do quite a lot with this core library. Now at the moment, it's on one particular preset, which I liked, which is called Keeper Rolling, which is a fairly sort of, I wouldn't say it's dry, but a kind of a standard sound. But there's quite a lot of others which sound a lot more sort of processed. For example, the 80s Lover one here. We can press this preview button at the side to hear it. Sounds like this. Or well, let's try this one, Dream State. Or Original Mix. That's really dry sounding. So you get quite a few presets there to get you going. Personally, I like a kind of a drier kit and then I like to add my own effects to that later on. We'll talk about that in a moment. That's the main screen though. One thing I want to point out from here, which you can miss easily, is go up to the preset name up here. Look at this little drop down arrow, click on that and then go to engine and then key map. And what you can see is you can you know, change the key map, which will be to make it the same as an existing drum plugin, which you may already have. So for example, some of you I know have got um, addictive drums and you could just make the drum map the same as that. And that makes things a lot easier if you're coming from another plugin and you're used to pressing particular keys on your piano keyboard for particular drums. So that's the main screen. Let's take a look at the mixer. Next, we have the mixer screen. And as you'd expect, you can use the faders and the pan controls here to mix this drum kit. But you also have the ability to output each of these drums to a separate stereo or mono output. These are exposed within your door, meaning you can actually mix this drum kit from your door controls and add any sort of effects plugins and things that you want to add there. That's my preferred way of uh, working in a full production. Now, what's nice about this is these are these four macro controls that we see at the top here. So we can adjust the overall attack and sustain, for example. I'll just play the kit and play with that. You can hear how much tighter it gets when we've got that attack down low, okay? It's more like a sort of a transient shape than anything else, I would say. Then we have a, a stereo width control here. Let's play with that. I can't help but love it when it's nice and wide. A tone control. I think that speaks for itself. And then this ambience control. So you get a bit more of the room noise as you push this up. Let's try that. <laughs> so 
So you really get a lot of difference in sound with the controls in this mix here, mixer here. It's a really nice addition. One thing I love about this plugin is it's so easy to use. A little bit like our sponsor DistroKid. All you have to do is upload your track, your artwork, fill out a simple form and they do the rest for you. They're going to get it out to all of the major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play. All you have to do is follow the link in the description down below. Now I have to say, even if you didn't use the sounds of this free plugin, it's probably worth it for the 340 free grooves you get with it. In lots of different genres here, you could use these to build the basis of a song. So for example, we've got this uh, collection of 80s lover grooves here. If we go down, we could start off with a verse. It sounds like this. We may uh, do something like use a fill in, and that may go into a chorus or a bridge. Here's a chorus. There's lots and lots to choose from, as you can see here, and you can sort of filter them and things so that you can uh, find them a little bit easier. Now, when you want to use them, all you have to do is just grab it and then drag it off into your door and drop it onto your track. It's as easy as that well worth it and can give you a real sort of head start on a track. So what do you think? Is this the best free drum plugin? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to find out about more great free plugins, check out this playlist right here.